All right, I'm back and um, just want to show you what the water temperature is. Uh, we had 113.4 right now, and this is the amperage draw. All right, so we just uh, just about tipping on a nine amp from where we started. All right, there's the pump and the radiator and the fan. Now, because this is an AC fan. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna manipulate my hand don't drop the camera so instead I drop my water bucket um, so let's plug this guy in okay that's the fan that's running I would hear it on the uh, speaker the microphone right and we're still at 9.10 so we're definitely going up and we're at 114.3 and 4 go up and down depending on where you point this thing alright so now I'm going to connect the pump which is basically I'm just hooking up the uh, the wires that normally go into your computer you know computer power supply uh, I'm gonna have to hold this a second because I want to clamp it in, and I can't really do that like this. So, I have to hold the camera here for a second. Just, just keep an eye on that. <laughs> uh, stay there for a second. You're probably gonna see the water start to shift around. Okay, pump is on. Water starting to shift around. If you can see it, I can't really see from where I'm at my angle. Okay, you can see the water starting to spit around in there. And wow, I can feel the heat. I can feel the heat uh, going through the radiator already. Wow, it actually brought the temperature down already. So the, that side of the radiator is 105. This side of the radiator is 97. And it looks like the ambient air about 94. And that's the pump was running. Pump is really not actually the pump is really not that big. I mean, this is the comparison of the pump to the uh, little, you know. So that gives you an idea how big this pump is. I just have the camera real close. Um. So the water temperature is up to one. It's gonna take a while. You know how temperature is. <laughs> you know. So one. Th yeah. Actually, you can actually see it start to drop already. 112.3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. Okay, as you can plainly see, the temperature is dropping. Remember, we were at 9 amps. Um, actually, starting to tip on the 10 amp uh, 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 range, and now we're actually starting to uh, we're starting to even out a little bit on the starting to go toward the lower side. So at 8.5, we already dropped uh, an amp and about close to about an amp and a half. So, um, we just basically want to keep an eye on this and just to give an idea, you know, to see how well it works. You know, that's just to give people an idea of, um, you know, is it possible? So now we're down to 110, 109. Um, is it possible to control your amperage? Um, you know, you can deal with PWMs, um, you know, but uh, there is a way to do it. If you want the amount of hydrogen to come out, because anyone knows that um, you could deal with a PWM, you don't get as much hydrogen. But what they say it's, it's actually it's a stronger type of hydrogen. I guess more molecularly bound uh, hydrogen atoms or molecules. Um, but I do have a PWM. I haven't used it yet because the amperage draw it just ten, tends to be too high for the unit. So I'm just trying to figure out a way to uh, to minimize that before it gets crazy you know and uh, burn out my PWM and a friend of mine didn't uh, didn't realize that the PWM was only rated for 30 amps but his uh, his generator was pushing uh, about 60 it was drawing about 60 amps and it burnt it out so that's what we're dealing with so let's see okay as you can see already even on the on the radiator block it was at a hundred and some change already. It's down to ninety-seven point uh, point four. 
And on this side, 93, 92. So, just give you an idea of uh, what could be achieved. And it's actually still going down. You know, it's still going down slowly though. You know, not as not, not as fast as, as before. So now we're down to 8.2. So as you can definitely see, it's uh, it is going down. So if you have a circuit on there that can turn this thing on and off when you get to a certain temperature, we'll say a preset of um, we'll say a preset of maybe I don't know on a big uh, a big unit I don't know uh, 100 150 degrees or so you know let the let, let the water the water uh, molecules really start to excite we'll say about 150 degrees or so kick on kick your kick your pump into action and uh, you know and allow you to control you know how far it goes and you can limit it that way a mechanical way all right uh, as you can see in a short video, the video is only running now 6 minutes 10 seconds on this particular portion of it. And we're getting close to the uh, 100 degree mark. So that just gives you an idea what can be done. And on my next video I'm going to try a little small uh, a little small fan unit that I built. Which is really a computer fan. right? But underneath I took a, cha a, a channel and grooved a uh, channel. I took a a, a bit, uh, a drill bit, and routed out um, uh, a channel inside of there, and then put some uh, some uh, you know epoxy, some blue epoxy, which is actually right here, ultra blue. It's kind of beaten up. You can't really see it. You get it at an auto an auto store, but it turns into like a really really nice rubber gasket type material. It's quite good, and it's made for high heat too. So I put that in, um, I have pictures also, you can see the pictures. And uh, this thing actually works quite well. So actually on my next video, I'm going to, I'm going to try, even though I have really, really small tubes, I'm going to try and hook this pump up to it and see what, uh, see what it can do. Okay, bye now.